Welcome to a new video of Zen Talk, where I simply pick at random one Zen teaching from this book, Zen Essence, and talk about it, explain it from my perspective in relation to fundamental truth and enlightenment. So, let's go. No Zen teachings here? Right. Stumbled past. As soon as you try to chase and grab Zen, you've already stumbled past it. And this is because Zen is truth. Zen is enlightenment. It exists here and now. And only here and now. If you try to grab this moment and own it, it means you are already lost. You are this moment. And any attempt to push it away or grab hold of it, of owning it, means you don't understand what it is. You cannot own that which is everything. You cannot put effort forth to attain effortlessness. That's like running to chase standing still. It's like thinking in order to meditate. It's like holding your breath in order to breathe. And so the moment you try to reach Zen, it has already slipped through the cracks, disappeared through your fingers, Zen is effortlessness itself. Zen is existing as existence is, as it is right now. So as soon as you try to chase and grab Zen, you've already stumbled past it. The minute you sit down to meditate and your mind starts thinking now I'm meditating that sentence, that thought separates you by an eternal abyss to the no doing of actually meditating because what is meditation? it's the absence of effort. It's the absence of the one trying to reach a state different than what is already here. And so you cannot really practice Zen just like you cannot really practice meditation. Because a practice involves effort, learning, repeating, becoming better. Well, these are the opposites. Or rather, not the opposites. Because Zen exists even when you make an effort. 
You can be completely zen while washing dishes, driving a car, running, lifting weights. But it's the belief that you need to make the effort in order to be silent, which is the prison. You cannot be silent by thinking about being silent. You cannot become enlightened by chasing enlightenment. Because it is not a thing. It cannot be found. It cannot be lost. It does not become and it does not go. It was never born and it will never die. Just like Zen. These concepts are interchangeable. Yet as concepts, they do not exist. Zen does not exist as something other than something else. It's simply this. And if you truly can let go of all effort, all struggle, and just exist right now as you are, then welcome. This is perfect Zen. And you have not stumbled away from it. So let me read this one last time. As soon as you try to chase and grab Zen, you've already stumbled past it. Have a great day.